It's our We Spice Style Oscars special. Celebrities stripped down in next to nothing at the after parties. Lady Gaga wears kitchen gloves, and hashtag ask her more gets some serious buzz. Hello, I'm Allison McNamara. Hello, and I'm your new co-host, Elliot Morgan. Woo! Welcome to We Spice Style! Welcome, Elliot. And joining us today are Pop Sugar Style director Meg Kuna and stylist of the stars Jessica Pastor. So, Jessica, you have styled basically everyone from uh, Kate Blanchett to Felicity Jones, which is perfect because today's episode is all about Oscars fashion. Right, let's start with our best dress pick of the night. Meg, who was your favorite at the Oscars? I, you guys, I really loved Dakota in Saint Laurent. I know it was controversial, not a lot of people liked it. Here's what I loved. It was unexpected, it was a little bit weird, and she's really young, cool, not the fairy tale gown by any means, but I feel like she showed up and showed her personality. What do you guys think of that? I like it. I thought it was nice. I, I liked felt it. like it was a little prom-y. Uh, really? Oh. Yeah, I Who wears like that it. to the I mean, prom? I think it's uh, beautiful. I want to wear some of <laughs> it's to prom. the prom. Uh, it's like expensive gothic. Yeah. What's your pick? I was disappointed with everything she was kind of wearing through the whole season. Okay. I edge of seat, edge of seat. But, Rosa Michelle. Oh, Michelle. I love Michelle. this look. You know, she, oh, and Lorraine Schwartz, those diamond studs were just so beautiful. That slit, that waist. I the mean, waist. She, had, waist. she had a baby like a 10 weeks ago. ago. Really? And, 10 yeah, weeks but, ago. But here's the thing she does have a small waist, but what I love about this dress is it gave you the illusion of even a smaller waist. Just spectacular. Perfect. She's perfect. I have to agree. This is yeah. definitely one of my she favorites. She looks like a statue. Mm. So for mine, I'm going to go with my lady Julianne Moore because one I'm obsessed with her too. And I you kind of look like her. They tell me more. <laughs> I love it. But so the reason why I chose this is because it's got like that couture value. 80,000 hand painted sequins and flowers. 987 hours to make. 27 people. It's Chanel. She won that night. I just think she looks so awesome. Elliot, who was yours? That was amazing, amazing yeah. little sweatshop. Yeah. <laughs> All the people in there I'll painting the sequins. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Jennifer Lopez. And it might just be the dude in me who's just like, yep, Jennifer She's Lopez. Yeah. 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 Look, I'll take it. Uh, yeah. She looks amazing. Right. What do you guys think? Let us know your pick for best dressed in the comments, which are right down there. Yes, that's Use right. Use your fingers. <laughs> now grab those flags. It's time for You've Been Flagged. Each week we flag things that may or may not have missed the mark. And it's up to us to either red, which is bad, or green flag them. All right, first up, necklaces that made a statement, also known as statement necklaces or stecklaces. Stecklaces. on time. So we saw this on Scarlett Johansson, Kate Blanchett, and Margot Robbie. They went all out with the bling. Even John Travolta got in on the action. <laughs> oh, God. What do we think? Red or green flag for necklaces on the Oscars red carpet vote? I liked it. I mean, Kate Blanchett's Tiffany turquoise necklace is gorgeous. Um, against the black Margiela, first of all, Walking into the Oscars of Margiela was the dopest move in the world. Oh my God. Meg, what do you think of this? Um, you know, I wasn't so into Scarlet. <gasps> Me too. I would, if I went yeah. to red flag, I'd red flag Scarlet, green flag the rest. And yeah. John, Travolta. yeah. John Travolta. John Travolta looks like he's trying to become like his uh, own wax figure. <laughs> <laughs> Like saw his Magic Sodes and was like, I want that. I don't understand why he's maybe like a that's where color. the line is where they that's like, what it is. like yeah, that. Yeah. They screw and then they it just on. put it. <laughs> yeah, no comment on that. All right, moving on. All right, next up, Oscar's fashion got a lot sexier at the Vanity Fair after party. Uh, sheer perfection mm -hmm. or held to the no. On three. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh my god, Gigi. Gigi a was G the only one that was G G. Incredible. The but dress she really fit her so it. well. Incredible. But does she really need it? No, but she knows nice to see. You know, she doesn't need it. I'm gonna go with She's that. It's just all nice to see. <laughs> I <laughs> you're a boy. I know. I love Rita Ora as a singer. Mm -hmm. I love her fashion. I, I don't mean, love her ass her cheek though. <laughs> her, pra no. her Prada. One she wore to the Grammy was just gorgeousness, but I have to agree with Allison. Don't want to see Astrid. Don't want to see. <laughs> Do you imagine how much anxiety you would have wearing that dress? I don't know. I, yeah, I agree. With, if you're drunk, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and that's what happens at these parties, by the way. I don't get um, Zoe Kravitz's length of that dress was odd to me. 
the undergarments, I wish they were a little higher. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do an undergarment so you can see an underwear, do a beautiful vintage inspired oh one. You know what I mean? This one not looked like, like a, a, a Spanx. Well, that was like a bathing suit under. I mean, yeah, yeah. Was there a, like sand right. and beach inside the vanity? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Island vibes. Yeah. yeah. I like Carly Kloss and Gigi ID the best of this of this group for sure. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? Who did it better? Emma Stone with the Dior. Sorry. Emma yeah. Stone always, always does it better. Always. always. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you guys think? Don't forget to vote in the comments below, all right? All right, so let's call out some Oscar dress inspirations. You might even call them, uh, like, dress-pirations. Maybe, maybe you maybe you do, maybe. maybe you don't. Obviously, we have to talk about Lady Gaga's cleaning gloves. Ladies, gents, discuss. It was individual. Remember Cher, when she dressed the way she did, even Demi Moore with the shorts and stuff like that under her dress? This was Lady Gaga's moment. Do you think it was like a little bit of a copy of Amal Clooney at the Golden Globes? She wore those big gloves that everyone thought no, were oversized. No, she wore, you know, more of like an opera glove. Yes. This is more of a dramatic dishwasher glove. Whatever, it's very different. <laughs> it's She's like mad scientist-y a little bit here, but I still like it because I think she's a genius and I think she can do whatever she wants. Children, have some respect. We're talking about Azzy and Alaya. How dare you? The gloves <laughs> are the gloves. The dress is the dress. It's absolutely amazing. It's art. Get out of here with this. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> go, You'll never go. understand. You'll never understand. Well, uh, I will say if Lady Gaga was inspired by her cleaning lady, Marion Cotillard, was probably inspired by the sushi she had about 20 minutes before getting out I hope it was there. Katsuya. I've I never... love this Christian Dior dress. <laughs> I thought it was very, very chic. It was very cool. I think it looks like a sensor bar, like her butt cussed. <laughs> her butt? Like, had to what? put like, a bar over it. <laughs> I agree with Jessica. I think it's beautiful. Again, like have some respect, people. Have I think it might be strategic placement of the bar too, like right underneath the butt. I don't know, maybe not the best place for it. All right, so there's also Gwyneth Paltrow doing her best Carrie Bradshaw impression. This made a lot of best dress lists. Some people really did not like it. What do you guys think? I thought it was beautiful. It was chic. And you know, lately she's been like doing the mini dresses and mini dresses and mini dresses and it gets a little redundant. It was nice to see her very, very chic. Yeah, and dare I say this maybe would have looked better on Kate Blanchett. I feel like you need the edge to pull this dress off and I feel like Gwen Paltrow was kind of missing that. I love the earrings. I didn't like the part in her hair. The dress is beautiful, the, the part. Yeah, it looks like a comb over did kind it, of. Did it distract it because yeah, it there was no balance because you had everything on one hand? Yeah, this is why you're the stylist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is why. This yeah. is like I'm like, something's yeah. off. I put a vision for this dress. Uh, and finally, Naomi Watts decided to wear a literal, uh, what appears to be a stone wall uh, to the Oscars. <laughs> What do we think of this? You know what? This reminded me actually real fast. I had a similar thought when, because uh, uh, I like looking at what the dudes wear too, their tuxes and whatnot. And Matthew McConaughey came out. I thought he looked like a toaster. And this is a very <laughs> similar like, kind of metallic sheeny thing. Like if the, if the little grid pattern wasn't there, she would be like the counterpart. She'd be like Mrs. Toaster to his Mr. Like toaster. an industrial theme happening in your exactly, head. Exactly, yeah. It's like an industrial revolution happening on the, the red carpet. I'm on the fence of this dress. I love Giorgio Armani. But I think what I loved about this dress is when she walked away the and you saw the back. <laughs> All right, do you guys agree with us? Disagree? Anyone we missed? Who's your dresspiration? Let us know. Let's talk about the hashtag Ask Her More movement, calling for actresses to be asked red carpet questions that go deeper than what are you wearing, okay? Like, who are you wearing? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you guys saw, but this uh, the hashtag Ask Her More was actually the number one trending topic on Twitter uh, during like the entire Oscars red carpet. And Reese Witherspoon got behind it. She got super into it. She said that this is a movement to say we're more than just our dresses. So my opinion is, one, as a stylist, I'm sure you can understand this. Designers, the reason why they're lending out these 20, 30,000 plus dollar dresses is to get mentioned on the red carpet, is for them to say who they're wearing. And that's part of the glamour of why we watch the Oscars. That's why they're three hour pre shows. Meg, what do you think of the Ask for More? <laughs> you know, we're not questioning your intelligence. You're at the Oscars. We know you're brilliant. We know you're talented. Like, we just want to know who did your makeup today, who dressed you. <laughs> it's we just, we're like, what are these jewels? You were so beautiful. Like, yes, we get it. You're a talented actress. We know that already. Like, this is not the time or place you have 15 seconds. To play a little bit of devil's advocate, I feel sometimes like it's 
It's not so much like when they're like, hey, what are you wearing or who are you wearing or whatever. Like that question I think is is kind of expected. But I think what like tends to get people more upset, uh, namely like people like Reese Witherspoon, is when the questions become like, is it difficult to get ready? You never get that kind of questioning with the male. So you guys also know Emma Watson has a big movement right now, he for she. Yeah. So I thought it was really cool that Steve Carell wore the cufflinks as a he for she. And I love that movement. I think that's something that we should be talking of about. Of course. Especially as women. Also Patricia Arquette in the middle of her acceptance speech. She's saying, you know, promoting that she wants equal salaries because a lot of times actresses who win an Oscar they get like a half a million dollar bump, which is still half a million dollars, a lot of money. But um, guy actors yeah, yeah. typically get like three point nine million dollars on average oh, in bumps. Wow. So like, okay. that's the real conversation. Like, none of this BS. Like, ask her more. Like, you're getting asked enough questions, Reese. Like, go to more red carpets. Why don't we just combine know? the questions and be like, what are you wearing? Also, how much of a bump do you get every time? <laughs> <laughs> like, throw them curveballs every time. No. All right, that is it, guys, for this very special Oscars edition of We Spy Style. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. That's for sure. And don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you guys for being here. Bye. Bye, guys.